Once again, back with some more Pokemon Scarlet. I think for this video specifically, I'm gonna finish up the last of the uh, Path of Legends uh, storyline. And then the next video is potentially gonna be the last one. Maybe. And I'm gonna be finishing up the last of the Victory Road. Oh. Yep, there's the lab. Arvin. Seriously, you beat me here? I took a tax. I took the air taxi, dude. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Also, yeah, that don't freak out because I look different, okay? I just shaved earlier today, and whenever I shave, I take the whole goddamn thing off. Everyone always says she's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, but let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her ever even playing with me. Her own sh her own kid. Mabostiff's the only one who is there for me. Always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. So why do I need to go inside the lab real quick? Hold up. What the hell? Bruh. It's so dusty. I need your help. What do you need help with, Professor Sada? I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the Great Crater of Pald. I called it. I called it last time. She's in the Great Pit Crater of Paldea. Boom. Or was it? It wasn't last video. I think it was the video before when I took down the False Dragon Titan. I called it. I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. Arvin's probably not happy. The final step? But there's something we need first. Something that can be found within that lab. What we need... It's the Scarlet Book. What? Wait, do you mean this book? Ah. So you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? I mean... I mean, it did help us grab the Herba Mysticas. So, this expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. Hmm. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be waiting I'll be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Oh boy. This is gonna be difficult. Area Zero. Ugh, that place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mabostiff got wounded in the first place. Down in the great crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. 
Are you gonna go? Of course I'm gonna go. I suppose she did ask. And I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into dangerous on his own. So I guess I'm going to. Besides, I'd love to give mom a piece of my mind. Oh boy. Alright, shut up. Outside! We're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if we're really ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Oh yeah, because I'm definitely ready to head into Area Zero. Highest level Pokemon I got is level 73, uh, Quackavel. Don't tell me I have to battle Mavostiff doing this. Ready for a battle show? Yep. You're ready too, right Mavostiff? Oh my god. Mavostiff says he's ready. You're battling with Mavostiff? Yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a while, a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if we always lost to that student council girl, the battle fanatic one, Nimona. Anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. Or a brand new Arvin and Mavostiff, and we're feeling audacious. Or maybe... herbaceous? That's stretching it. Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Pokemon Trainer Arvin. Oh, we got a Greedent! There's that Squovet from a while ago. I met during our hunt for the Urban Mystica are all stars. Every one of them. Okay, level 50. You have a full team! Oh, wow. Same thing with Clavel and Penny. I need to pay attention to the Pokemon that he's about to send out. Toad Squirrel. That's definitely the new one. I can't remember what its typing is, so I'm assuming it's probably ground, maybe? I don't really know. Ah, screw it. It definitely looks like ground, in a way. Uh, let's try Aqua Step. Spore? Really? Okay. Quackaval, wake up! Wake up! Okay, it's part grass type, apparently. Uh, let me just use this full restore. Okay. So that sucker was definitely Grass-type in a sense, but the fact that the Water-type move was uh, neutral, I think it's Ground Grass. So that's why it was neutral. Scovillian. Um, I don't. I can't remember what the typing for Scovillian was. 
I think it's progress, but I'm not too sure. Grass fire, okay. Oh, wow. Go up. I wonder why... It'll, it looks like a couple of bell peppers at, uh, acts as the two heads. This is one I've never heard of before. Garganical? I do not want to risk this. Um... Let's go with Gallade. Because I don't know what the typing for this thing could be. Hmm. Oh! Wait, that looks like an evolved... Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I just remembered. One of the Pokemon that he used a while back, I think it was for the Sky High Titan that he used it. It was a just a small little Knackly. So I think this might be the fully evolved version of it. Really? Cloyster? I might as well because of also the stealth rock. If only I had big if only I had brick break. Wait. Oh no, the final Pokemon. <laughs> I don't want to do this, but I have to, apparently. I know I'm gonna get hit greatly because of the Stealth Rock. Yep, Pointed Stones dug in. Oh, Intimidate! Wow! Celebrate your full recovery with a glow up. Oh, he's gonna terrestrialize? Oh, he's dark type! Oh, no! Oh, that's gonna deal a lot of damage. Wow. Okay. Who should I send in? Okay. I'm gonna send in Gallade. And then I'm gonna Terrestrialize so I can get rid of my Psychic type. Actually, no, 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 no. I think I should be good right now. Play rough? Oh, wow. This is gonna be a bit rough. Alright. Uh, if you're gonna use play rough again, I might as well terrestrialize. Because fire type Pokemon are resistant to fairy types. Yep. 
it still hurts my heart, the fact that I had to battle Mabostiff. I was so close, Mabostiff. So close. But, Shadow? Thanks, little buddy. Dang! This is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? <sighs> yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there too. <sighs> I'd say I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. That sounds like Penny. Penny? That crazy smart hacker girl who was the big boss behind Team Star? I mean, yeah, she'd be perfect for the job. But when do you go making friends with some shady character like her? But, well, we've got to do what we've got to do. Whoever you think could be a, a help, just try getting in good with them. We'll see if we can't... We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. Hey, Rika! Thank you for coming today. Please, do have a seat. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Shadow. Please think carefully as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I came by flying taxi. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you were enrolled in. Naranja Academy. Ah, that's right. So, what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? I want to battle Nimona as equals. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficult? The one with the most difficulty? I'd have to say Grusha, so that was gonna that's gonna be the Glaciado gym. I see. <laughs> Go back to highlight number three. Y'all see y'all can see me struggling with Grusha in that one. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? That's Grusha. I'm glad you seem to remember. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Grusha used? Ice-type. <laughs> Wonderful. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Shadow. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? The Duckling Pokemon, <laughs> Quaxly. Very good, very good. Now please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if, if and when you become a champion? I want to battle Nimona as equals! Huh. Ah, yes, that's right. Next is the final question for this interview. This is a weird way to become a champion. Do you like... Do I like Pokemon? Wow. Yes, obviously. Hmm. Good 
Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up the interview. Now let me be first to congratulate you, Shadow. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. On your first try too, nonetheless. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. Damn. But anyway, time to switch. I just barely smacked my microphone. I apologize if that <laughs> did some feedback or something. Time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. I'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon battles. That includes Hassel, Rika, I think there's one Elite Four member named Dottie. I can't remember. Uh, I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best the League has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. I only know of three elite members. I don't know the fourth. Oh, this is gonna be challenge. Unless the fourth one is surprisingly Nimona. Who's first? This is Teal Room. Who am I? F Rika first. Okay, my foot is going numb. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast! Whizcash. And the fact that the room is teal, I'm assuming her typing is water. I don't think it's a battle you. I've been looking forward to this. All the music for this one. Oh god. Uh no 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 no. Uh crap. Okay, just... Just knock out Whiskash real quick. Wait, don't... Oh, so she's not Water-type, she's a Ground-type Elite Four. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of help knowing now. Let's bump it up! Liquidation! Let's go. Do you have Sturdy? Yeah, you have Sturdy. You little bitch. That didn't do as much damage considering I lost my fighting type half. See it use Aqua Step and it also increases my speed. Oh, Doug Trio, let's go. So now I know that Rika is ground type. I know Hassel, the art teacher at the academy, he's also one of the Elite Four. He's supposed to be dragon type, if I remember correctly. K 
camera off this ground fire, so you just gave me an easy one-hit KO. This is where it gets interesting. Here's the question though, what ability does Claude Sire have? Does he have Poison Point or Water Absorb? I'm gonna use Aqua Cutter to, to, uh, to test it out. Gonna terrestrialize Claude Sire into Ground Type, okay. Used to protect? Oh, you're a bitch. And then that gives me a little water absorb. the poison I forgot I have a large amount of friendship with Quackavel <laughs> oh my god oh that makes me happy just up because things are about to get a bit shaky what earthquake yeah. Oh, wait a second. Alright, I'm switching. Let's switch. I mean, you can't really touch a flying type, can you? Doesn't affect Dragonite. Ha! Huh. I should have used fly. Come on. All right. All right. All right. You know what? I feel like you're gonna use uh, protect again real quick, or not? Liquidation. There we go. There we go. There's Rika. <laughs> the, the expression on her face. Not bad, kiddo. That's funny. Talk about unfair. No way was I ever gonna win that one. Still, no, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do, Shadow. Better stay on your toes, though. The second the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Coming. Poppy. Oh, wow. Did you lose Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Okay, I have a chance to heal up my Pokemon real quick. Do, 
do that. And here, uh, I need... Let me use a heal powder. Do that. And then some elixirs. Here's the question, though. I don't know what Poppy's ready to face Poppy of the Elite, of the elite for. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the problem, though. I don't know what typing she's going to have. Kind of like how I didn't know what Rika's typing was until I figured it out. Because first it was Whisk Whiskash, the water ground type. So I'm like, it's either water or ground typing she specializes in. Until the second Pokemon name popped up, Dawnfan, and I was like, oh, she specializes in ground type. Okay. And so, here they come. The fact that this small child is an Elite Four member, it baffles me. Steel type. Okay, so she specializes in steel type, because Kapodanja is pure steel. I was expecting a lot of damage, but I was not expecting a one-hit kill. Cor- Ooh, Corviknight, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to send in Arnima Rouge for this one. What you got? Oh, shit! Eventually, at some point, I need to start collecting more Fire-type Terra Shards and then take them to the Treasure Eatery so I can change uh, Armor Rouge's typing into Fire for Terra Solized instead of it being Ground-type. Three down, two to go. Oh, Magnazone. Okay, been a while since I've seen one. Sturdy. Defense special defense. Okay. Let's go. Tinker. Oh, wait. Isn't this the new fairy steel type, I think? That's scared. Oh, that's Pokemon will turn things around. Probably not. Wow, that is a big hammer. The last time I've seen a hammer that big was, uh... Probably Darkon when he smashed Galim's core when I was battling them. It's either that or... It, or either that or the Pika Pika hammer. Uh, what, what am I saying? Pico Pico Hammer for Amy Rose. Oh god. Wow, even terrestrialized. It was a critical hit too? Wow, okay. And critical hits are supposed to be a 4% chance to hit. Guess I'm lucky. to take revenge on you, Rika. Aww. <laughs> Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. 
I haven't had to do this in a long time. Who's next? It's your turn. Are you joking? He's both a gym leader and an Elite Four? Larry, what are you doing? Wow, I was not expecting him. Uh, I'm gonna send in Gallade because I know what typing he specializes in. I'm just baffled by the fact that he's both a gym leader and an elite four. I made it this far. I serve as a member of the elite four too, yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use a different type. I've been bamboozled. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. I've been bamboozled. I was expecting normal type Pokemon. No. Oh God. All right, time to get to work. Okay. So he's either grass typing or flying. Well, I'll be trying my... Flying type Pokemon. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out now. It's been a long time since I've seen a Tropius. Uh... Oh, wow. So I'm looking at flying type Pokemon this time around. So that means I need... Oh, I wish I had brought Colossal with me, dude. I just changed his terrestrializing type from normal to rock. No, 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 no. Inner focus is not going to let you do that. Oh, wow. If there's one item I want to give uh, Dragonite, it's probably leftovers. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the moment I saw the name Altaria, we're both dragon flying, so that's going to be painful for both of us. Now, this is Ordicordio, but the thing is, which version is it? Because there's four different typings for Ordicordio. There's the electric type Pom Pom style. There's Pom Pom. Let me just power up a little bit because I know the electric type move is not going to work that much because of my dragon typing. Oh no, that's its ability? Hold up. Oh no you don't. No you don't. No, you don't. You're not gonna freaking confuse me.
Wow. I was not expecting it to know Icy Wind. So there's that one. One more. Oh, it's Flamigo. Okay. Uh. Let's just send in Armor Rouge. Wasn't really expecting anyone to use a Flamigo during a serious battle like this. Stronger than before. Guess I don't get a brick today. Wait, I just realized... All of the Elite Fours are using typings that represent the Titans, in a way. Because Riku is using ground typing, there's the Quaking Earth Titan, which was a uh, great tusk. Poppy used a steel typing, that's the lurking steel uh the lurking steel titan, which was Orthworm. Larry is using flying types, that's the Sky High Titan, which was uh Bombardier. And now if I remember, the last Elite Four member is Hassel, and he's going to be using Dragon Typings. Which is represent- which is the False Dragon Titan. Well, that took the wind from under our wings. So that's the case. The last person- like, if I have to battle someone after the Elite Test, are they going to use Rock Typing as a way to- as a way to represent the Stone Cliff Titan. <laughs> Hassel! Uh, don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you... You may need to speak up just a little bit more. <laughs> Rika! Hassel, you're up next. Here we go. Lord Shadow, it delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? Mm. Hey, totally fine. Alright, uh... So, dragon typings. You know what? Screw it! <laughs> Let's send in Ditto first! <laughs> I was, of course, absolutely certain you would make it to me eventually. Young sprouts truly do grow with astounding speed, yes? But I never for a moment imagined we would be facing each other so soon. Now, a teacher's duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. And wield all my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. I am Hassel, the dragon guarding the final fortress of the Elite Test. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fiery breath of ferocious battle feels. Noivern. Let's go, Ditto. Show me everything you've got. I shall face you with my full strength. Ditto, imposter. Ooh, okay. Okay. So I have Super Fang, Hyper Voice, Dragon Pulse, and Air Slash. Nice. And, like usual, Ditto terrestrializes, he becomes a fire type. Wow!
Well, he did a good chunk of damage, ditto. Hmm. See, this is where it gets tricky, because dragon types are resistant to pretty much almost everything. Except for their own typing, ice, and fairy. Critical! Oh god. Okay, it looks like I'm bringing in uh, Pokemon that are not going to be effective against dragons. Let's bring in... Let's bring in Gallade. This is why I'm glad Gallade has uh, Drain Punch. It's been a long time since I've lost Pokemon. Flapple? You know what, just for the extra boost of power, I'll just go ahead and terrestrialize. And he's burned too. Leech seed. Okay, very funny. You know what? I'll take some of that health back, please. Thank you. Grass Dragon. Wait, Poison Dragon! Poison! Psycho Cut! Psycho Cut! Psycho Cut! Oh! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Oh! Pure Dragon, Haxorus. Mold Break. I keep forgetting what Mold Breaker does. Oh, it probably, uh... Toughed it out so you wouldn't feel s Oh, wow. Thanks, Gallade. Oh, the Leech Seed is still there. <laughs> oh my god. And that time he couldn't tough it out. He took one too many hits. Well, you did your best, Gallade. You managed to take down... Uh... You managed to take down three Pokémon. Noivern, Flapple, and Dragalgi. And you managed to weaken, uh... What is it? Uh, Haxorus. My brain is stupid right now. I don't know why. Let's 
gonna go Dark Pulse. There we go, Haxorus is gone. Now it's time for the final dragon. Baxcalibur? What the heck? Only a little more until we pass. Don't let up! What is, what is that? What typing is that? I don't know. Come, oh great dragon, and take a terror jewel as your crown. I feel scared. Now it's pure dragon. But what was its typing beforehand? I need to look it in the Pokedex. Thermal exchange? Oh boy. I'm letting this drag on. Behold, the power of overwhelm everything. Oh, the power to overwhelm everything. Glaive Rush. What the hell? This may also lead those that hits with a burn. Okay, I need it to hit with a burn. Thermal exchange. Tacros, yep. You did your best, Armor Rouge. Now let me send in... Uh, let me send in Claw Sire f as the next one. See if I can hit it with a Toxic. Or actually, just go straight up Poison Jab. Oh shit. Was not ex Wait, Icicle- Wait, Dragon type with an Icicle- Wait a second, is it Dragon Ice? Oh no. I lost? Oh no! Give 9,000 to Hassle. Oh, I was so close. Gonna try this again. Attempt number two. This time Dragonite's going out first, but I think I have a solid plan this time around just to help out, maybe. Maybe. So. Oh, I got lucky on that. So. Dragon Dance first to raise my attack and speed. And if I do that with Outrage, gonna terrestrialize right off the bat. Full-blown full, full blown pure dragon type terrestrialized. So each dragon, each time uh, Outrage hits, it's gonna be twice the damage. Plus add on the type weakness, then it's quadruple. Actually, hold up. I think technically, yeah, it's considered qu uh, quadruple because it would originally be times two because of type weakness. But the stab boost from pure dra uh, original dragon plus the terror type dragon, that makes it double as well. So it's times four. I am surprised you have not gotten confused from fatigue yet. So that is three down right off the bat. There's the confusion. It's about to send out Haxorus. 
I'll keep Dragonite in for right now, and and then once Dragonite faints, then I'll send in uh, Quackaval. Because I recently taught Quackaval uh, Ice Spinner, which is the TM that the technical machine I got from Grusha so long ago. Don't hit yourself. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Or as uh, Mr. Burns from Simpsons would say, Excellent. Excellent. And then finally, Baxcalibur. Suppose, don't let up. I don't plan on it. I'm, su I'm surprised Dragonite hasn't hit himself from confusion just yet. Come, O oh Great Dragon, and take a Terror Jewel as your crown. Here we go. Oh, he snapped out of it! Oh, this is an instant win, dude! If I realized it like that before, then I would have done that the first time around. <laughs> He's confused again. It doesn't matter. Defeated Hassle of the Elite Four. Yes. The Mighty Dragon has been felled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, you really did it. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh. Wonderful. I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> Hassel is sobbing. <laughs> Oh, don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. Hey there, want a hug? Sorry about all this, Shadow. The old man can get like that sometimes. I do. So what if I do? I'm just, just so overwhelmed. I know he's, I know exactly what he's saying. Yeah. Guess I've got to do the talking. All right. Your result for the elite test of the champion assessment is. A pass, no doubt about it. Yeah, you're tougher than steel. Yep. Y you did so beautifully. Congratulations. I'd say you're good to go, but there's actually just a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This will be your final trial. See the back, see the door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test, is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose, you hear? Not what I was expecting. I was expecting to use some more of uh, my potions. I really love your Pokemon, mister. So I'll cheer for you as hard as I can. Well, uh... Good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire. Whoa, guess you got over yourselves, huh? You can do this. We all know you can. I'm still theorizing my assumption from earlier. All of them were using typings that rep uh, that matched the titans. Because you had Rika, who was a ground type, the quaking uh, to rep matching the quaking earth titan. Then after that was Poppy. She was using Steel Typing. That's matching to Orthworm, the lurking Steel Titan. Then you have uh, Larry, who is using Flying Types, and that was matching to Sky High Titan, Bombardier. Then Hassel, using Dragon Types, that matches the False Dragon Titan. So if my assumption is correct. This final opponent might be using Rock Type Pokemon to mat. Uh, to match the stony cliff titan. Oh, where the hell am I at? Oh, don't tell me I have to battle Gita. Welcome, Shadow. It gives me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is a battle against me, 
the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairwoman. Oh no. Utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. You know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you? You might manage something wonderful, like Champion Nimona did. So, are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. Oh lord. Challenged by top champion Gita. Well, there goes my theory out of the window. I'm seeing a psychic type right off the bat. I hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. Level 61. Oh, damn. Lumina Crash, oh lord. What's the matter? You're not one to let something so it's insignificant fluster you. Defense oh Christ. I nope. Okay, just like the battles I did with Clavel, Penny, and Arvin. Pay attention to the Pokemon name, and I can switch out appropriately. Go go. Okay, that one I know for sure. Go go is one I know for sure. You can think X and Y for that one. Yes, that was the correct decision in this situation. Please, continue. <laughs> the fact that I'm battling her and she still encourages me on? I think I like... I like this chairwoman. Really? It's in now Avalug, of all things? Well, at least it's not the Hisuian version where it's ice and rock. Yeah, yeah, my defense and special defense fell. So that's three down, three to go. King Gam- Oh, wait a second. That's uh, the new evolved version of uh, Bisharp, isn't it? I think I saw that before in the Pokedex. It's dark and Steel for sure. So... Just gonna hit it with a drain punch. It's gonna be f gain strength from its fallen. Uh, that means it would have gotten sh strength three times. Uh, that's gonna be drain punch because it's originally four times weakness. That's quadruple the damage, dude. Plus the power boost from the expert belt. Veluza is a psychic water type, if I remember correctly. So uh, I don't want to risk the idea of uh, an ice type move coming out from v Veluza. Mold Breaker, yeah. I'm still surprised they managed to make a new. Uh, water psychic type Pokemon. The last one I remember is the last one I remember is Bruxish from Sword, uh, Sun and Moon. Glamora. I have no idea what this Pokemon is. <laughs> Don't think you've won just yet. Let me see.
Oh, wait, I think I know which... Okay, so this is a probably a poison... Uh, this is probably a poison rock type, but I don't know what type it is going to be if she terrestrializes. I'm just going with Drain Punch, just in case. I like that. Guides all trainers! S Question is, did I make the right choice with Drain Punch or no? I did. I did. I did. Okay. I'm good. Because I was worried it was either going to be a rock typing terrestrialization or a poison typing. Wow. Oh, Toxic Debris. The last time I saw that ability was when I was fighting against Atticus. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm officially a Pokemon champion. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Paldea has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations. It's my honor to call you Champion Shadow. Congratulations is right. Now I can really say you're good to go. Yay! You did it, mister! Congratulations. <laughs> Hassle. I can't hold it in anymore. Ugh, crying again. You Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldea. And amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine brightest. Champion Shadow, it is now your duty to set an example for all of the trainers of Paldea. Now, allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. Any second now. Ah, there you are, Shadow. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got round, I guess. And out of every single person gathered here? I'm the most excited by a mile. Larry, the stage is set. It's my all-out power. Versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. Challenge by champion Nimona. Oh, this is different music than I battled before. Got Lycanroc first. Finally, the thing I've waited all this time for. Time to begin our greatest battle of all! Full team! The thing I helped teach you type matchups, why are you using them to put the herd on me? <laughs> I knew type matchups from the get go. There's Palmot. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Liquidation. Ooh. Double shock. How do you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good to finally let loose. Oh, Lord. Used up all this electricity. What do you mean? Oh, now it's just a pure fighting type. Oh! Quick attack, I forgot about that. Fair, fair. I 
I should have switched it to Gallade from the get-go, dude, and saved Quack of all the suffering. Yeah, at its critical moment. That goes beyond luck, you've got some kind of gift. I think another thing that increases the critical hit chance is, uh... It's based on, uh, also the friendship with your Pokémon. But, I might be wrong on that. The Dunsparce... I still think that looks weird. Orthworm? That's a Steel-type, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, just pure Steel. Oh, it still lived! Iron Tail. Dodged. Yes! Yeah, no, I'm sending you out. Skeledurge. Mm. Well, Quackaval is still fainted. Okay, you know what? We're gonna fight with everything we've got! Alright. It's only fair that I do starter with starter. Zingly Bright, my greatest treasure! Here we go. Oh lord, here we go. Wow. Switch. It's only fair. Starter with starter. The exact same way how it was at the beginning. Game, set, match. Nimona? You... You did it! It's legit incredible! You're the strongest out there, Shadow! I mean, 
You knocked me flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... <laughs> Pokemon battling, am I right? So much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. <laughs> now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Shadow. Before round two. <laughs> Which Pokemon should I bring up this time? Decisions, decisions. 